I have a history of writing parodies of poems and then the people die shortly afterwards. I have no responsibility for this, uh, but it makes the reading of the poems difficult. I wrote a parody, my first poem ever in Poetry Art and Review was a parody of a Paul Durkin poem uh, congratulating Francis Stewart on giving an award by Mary Robinson. I had Francis Stewart being, or I had Mary Robinson give Lord Ho Ho uh, an award instead. It was in Poetry and Review. They had the launch, and Francis Stewart died between the launch and the acceptance. And I thought, you can't go and read this. Um, what would have happened? Nothing, I'm sure. <coughs> I wrote, I was doing a reading in New Mexico. Uh, last June, and uh, jokingly, the organiser said to me, you know, you could be the Irish Mary Oliver. So I looked at her most famous poem, Wild Geese, and I turned it into this, Feral Hogs after Mary Oliver. You do not have to be bad. There is no granite law of biology, physics, or chemistry that insists you must poke your steaming snout into dinner plates and laps not yours to investigate for the possibility of nosh or interspecies coitus. Give me your list of humans you found in the desert and tried to eat, and I will give you mine. All the while the universe continues to expand or slowly implode, Physicists differ and regularly have televised wrestling matches over matters such as this. All the while the ocean's temper rises and occasionally abolishes some island in the Pacific. But no matter, all the while feral hogs like you drag their bacon selves home. However bigly you think of yourself, history sizzles and spits like frying sausages, takes you by the trotter to your place in the butcher shop of things.